Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I managed to get my hands on the Asus S ROG Maximus Z690 Formula, which is a uh, motherboard, a pretty expensive motherboard uh, with a water block uh, built on it. So is this board for you? That's what we're gonna try and uh, find out in today's video. And as always, I'm gonna leave my Amazon affiliate link uh, down below for the Maximus C690 formula. And also I'm gonna leave the ASUS uh, product page link there as well, so you can check out everything in detail. Anyway, um, first of all, it's white. Well, white and black design scheme here. Uh, overall, it looks pretty darn good. Uh, first thing that actually struck me as something out of the usual was that it, uh, the entire shroud from uh, top to bottom is from metal. Uh, but I feel it's a bit on the cheap side and plastic, uh, a decent plastic would have felt and looked a little bit better. There is a big backplate on this thing as well, which is pretty nice, but overall, I guess the design could have been a little bit better. Now, of course, as this is a Z690 board, it is one of the best boards to place your brand spanking new Alder Lake 12th generation Intel CPU. Uh, the board has 20 plus one power stages, two PCI Express, 5.0 boards, a single PCI Express 4.0 and a total of 4 DIMM slots for your DDDR5 memory. And if you look close enough you even find a Q release button that uh, easily lets you unhook the video card in the main slot uh, which is a simple but pretty darn brilliant thing to have if you have, you know, ever removed video cards from a motherboard before. Sadly, only the main slot has this feature, so hopefully they will add it to the other slots as well in the future. Now, Asus is pretty proud of their achievements uh, of the architecture of the formula board here, and you can go uh, over everything in detail uh, on their website. They have a section uh, dedicated to this, uh, but overall, I mean, uh, heading into the BIOS of the uh, formula here and uh, checking out uh, all kinds of features, um, you know, how well can you actually tweak this board to help you further overclock your memory or your CPU and I mean it's just absolutely insane what you can do here. Uh, the BIOS is just absolutely filled with features and uh, yeah, if you don't uh, understand all of these features, Asus has of course um, implemented software overclocking uh, as well uh, called the Asus AI suit which you can easily you know open up in Windows just click one single button and your computer will you know start to do all sorts of different benchmarks to see how well your case and everything is ventilated right so it will apply the mo most maximum overclock possible um, at least you know all the, uh, doing things automatically of course you can always do things better uh, manually uh, but yeah this board offers automatic stuff uh, for you as well, which is, in my opinion, really, really nice. Their AI suit really shines. Uh, now, the main selling point uh, of the formula board is, of course, its water-cooled uh, VRM heatsinks. Uh, as ASUS states, uh, this is actually EK's uh, cross-chill 3 VRM block. Uh, basically, if you run a custom water cooling loop, uh, it is super easy to take advantage of this, uh, to, you know, help cool the board's uh, most vital parts, uh, to help you overclock even further than before. Everything else is just under some pretty massive heat sinks here. And um, yeah, overall the board is very well cooled. Aesthetics of the Maximus Z690 are pretty decent, but could have been a bit better, I think. Uh, there are a couple of RGB areas and interestingly enough, even an OLED display named the Live Dash here. You can easily configure both the RGB parts and the OLED display in the Armory Grade software. Uh, you can toggle it to show you frequency, temperatures and whatnot, uh, but also display a small GIF or a custom text, which is pretty neat, uh, but seem pretty limited. And the custom text is super small. I don't understand why there's no 
font size option there. Now coming to storage, there are a total of three M.2 PCI Express 4.0 slots on the board here. And you might be wondering, well, doesn't, isn't this board like PCI Express 5.0? Well, it is, uh, but the M.2 PCI Express 5.0 board has been moved to the ROG Hyper card, which is a PCI Express card that you can uh, get with the board when you buy it. And uh, basically you can put your uh, PCI Express 5.0 M.2 device onto that extender uh, PCI Express card. So it will work through that, which is pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, kind of a question. Why didn't they, you know, just bring PCI Express 5.0 on the board itself? Now coming to audio, it is provided by ASUS Supreme FX here and for networking we do find Wi-Fi 6E with a magnetic antenna which is pretty nice. Now moving on to the I.O. we do find a proper 10 gigabit LAN board there as well and something worth mentioning are the dual Thunderbolt 4 boards that can draw up to 60 watts of extra power from a single 6 pin power connector that is located at the side of the board. And I mean USBs this board does have. Uh, there's a total of 12 USB boards at the back, uh, so on top of the two Thunderbolt 4 USB-Cs, we find uh, extra 7 USB 3.2 Gen 2 boards, one of them being a USB Type-C. And um, there are also 3 USB 2.0 boards here. Uh, other than that, there's uh, also HDMI for if your CPU has integrated GPU, and a quick bias switch and clear CMOS button with all the Supreme FX audio boards, including a optical outboard. I mean, overall, the Maximus Z690 formula is definitely a great choice if you're looking for a really premium motherboard that already has a water block built on it, and especially if you're looking for a white and black themed uh, motherboard, right? Now, the bright is pretty high right at around 700 to 800 euros in the EU and uh, yeah that is uh, definitely expensive but you do already get the built-in EK water block on the motherboard so you don't have to you know start waiting for when EK actually makes a water cooling block on this exact board right you uh, get it automatically and also there's Wi-Fi 6e with the magnetic antenna which is really nice and overall this motherboard is just packed with features also you can't regard uh, you know the BIOS itself uh, Asus has put incredible amount of job into building a proper BIOS for overclocking and if you don't know how to overclock they've already got you covered with the Asus's AI suit which you know um, automatically overclocks your uh, PC. So yeah, my overall score is definitely a 10 out of 10. It is a perfect motherboard even at around 700 euros. Cause if you're looking all of these things, uh, black and white team, Z690, I mean, it's really hard to find anything um, cheaper. Oh, I, I guess you can find cheaper, but with a EK water block, with a Wi-Fi 6, right? Uh, with so many USB boards, with so high end uh, quality parts put on this board, uh, it's definitely a nice board here. And now, uh, something that I do want to touch upon that ASUS could, uh, you know, perhaps improve in the future is that uh, I didn't use any custom water cooling uh, on the motherboard when I was testing it. I actually used a proper, a decent all-in-one ASUS's own uh, water cooling setup here. And uh, yeah, I really didn't like that I couldn't um, hide the... Uh, water blocks uh, cables coming from the water block so they had to go over the VRM uh, heat sinks right or the water block right but it looked so super ugly like that and uh, I thought maybe I could you know some way hide it and uh, pull the cables from beneath the water block but no there's uh, there's zero uh, free space there so maybe Asus could you know think about that as well in the future especially if there is no water block on the boards right so there would be some kind of a hole or something where you could neatly bring your uh, water blocks cables you know underneath the VRM heatsink or something like that uh, so that's yeah something to improve maybe but overall yeah this board is freaking insane for 700 euros it's it's a lot but it still packs a bunch in here and if you want some cheaper options Asus uh, themselves also has a ton of uh, cheaper options out there as well but yeah 
if you're looking for water cooled uh, motherboard, pre well, pretty much, that has water cooling block on it, right? Wi-Fi 6 e and stuff like that, it's hard to get, uh, want anything better than this. Anyway, that's gonna be it for my quick review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. All right, thanks for watching. Ciao for now.